Friends, welcome to episode 62. This is container 24, part 1. Don't know what it contains, so we might finish in one part, or maybe two. I'm not sure, so let's get into it. Oops, let me flip this over. Don't want to broadcast my address to the world. This is in, it says, Do Not Bend. Ooh, intriguing. Just in a regular store bag. And it is... Sonic the Hedgehog game cartridge free when you buy Sega Game Gear. To get your mailing coupon right. So it's a store stand. For the Sega Game Gear. Pretty cool. Sonic the Hedgehog there. It's got the fold out thing. So that it can stand up. On a counter. So it's I guess a countertop display. Is what you'd call it. Didn't remember having that. Oh, let's see. Just an envelope. This has an official Sega Seal of Quality pin. I'll put a close-up picture in the corner so you can see it. The camera did focus, but it's obviously small compared to the rest of the uh, screen. But it's just a an official Sega pin that I must have felt I needed. We have another envelope which has a replacement screen. I think I've bought several of these over the years and never put one into use. So good thing I bought them. We have a Game Gear, Sega Game Gear carry bag, which zippers open for your system. And then another zipper in the back for games, maybe a power adapter. I'm not sure how big it is, but it's got a little carry handle there. It'd be pretty sweet if it was like a hip pack or a fanny pack. That would, that would have been pretty dope. I, I would sport a Sega Game Gear fanny pack. I think that'd be pretty neat. This is from Canada, and it has no postmark. Oh, this is another pin. I must have been big into pins for a while. So Sega, welcome to the next level. I'll put a picture, a big picture up so you can see it. For a while they were, I think there's a few sellers selling like actual licensed Sega pins. So I probably thought they were cool at the time and bought it. We have the insert for the deluxe carry case. It shows you where everything goes. You have the power adapter, the big magic window, the uh, screw on battery pack and of course the game gear so it tells you where how everything is positioned and we have one and it is called the deluxe carry all look at that big monstrosity in the box so it's the deluxe carry back all carry all your Sega Game Gear equipment. Awesome. And while I'm on this side of the container, let me just pull this out. Tissue paper, that's new. 
we have in a giant bubble bag the Sonic Sports System also includes car lighter power adapter includes two game cartridges uh, World Series Baseball 95 and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 so there is that back it up so it fits in the screen and this is an, a sticker so that was an afterthought where it says that the car lighter power adapter is included so that those took up half of this container we have a stuffed Eggman or Dr. Robotnik I don't know if it's a Christmas ornament or if it's just a stuffed version of him. I don't know why I bought that. And to add to the confusion, we have a stuffed Sonic the Hedgehog. They, they have uh, loops at the top of their heads, so they might be Christmas ornaments. But I'm not seeing any tags on them to say if they're like from Hallmark or from some other company. I must have thought those are cool. We have two Game Genies. One is shrink wrapped. I don't know. I don't think it came shrink wrapped, so somebody might have done that. And then the little booklets that go in the bottom that fit in there. There's another one in there. There's volume one, number one, volume one, number two, and volume one, number four. So number three is missing. But we have the little thick book that goes with it. And all the little cheat codes. The code update. Very cool adapter for playing games, getting extra lives, going to different levels, starting off with so many points, whatever the cheat code was. This is the adapter. And there are two of them. Loose. Oh, I remember this. This extremely stylish promotional hat. I remember getting this and being like, why did I buy it? It's very 90s. Sega Game Gear. I guess you'd call that like a teal blue or an aqua blue. With the... Uh, I don't even know what you'd call that. The rope that extends across. Never worn. But a promotional item. Maybe they wore them at, at a trade show or something. I don't know. Now this I remember finding. in Somewhere in, at a KB toy store in southern Illinois. I stopped in and found two of these. And it was a brand new uh, system. It had the price tag of $69.99 right there, but they, they tore it off. And then the price tag up here has $69.99 with the red lines through it, which was notoriously KB. And then the handwritten amount of $9.99. I remember going into KB and looking around and they had a discount bin and I was like, you've got to be shitting me. So I was like, okay, cool. Brand new system, never played, never opened. And it's an original system. It's not the Majesco version. It was just left over. Dead stock maybe, I'm not sure. But I was like, for $9.99 and there are two of them. 
And it saddens me to say that I might have opened one. I think I might have, foolishly. But I'll never, well, after I go through all my containers, I'll know if I find a duplicate just like that sealed with the KB sticker. And if I don't, that means that I opened one of them and you probably already saw it. The Sega Super Wide Gear Screen Magnifier. So you can make your screen nice and big under a big magnifying glass that straps on to your system. Common item. We have a different version of the Wide Gear Screen Magnifier. Uh, mounts to the back of your game gear, easily detachable for convenience and portability. So same thing, two different styles of boxes, and I really don't know the difference between the two. One is licensed Sega. This one might be licensed by Sega. You know, Sega licensed it, but through a different manufacturer. I don't know. But they're both screen magnifiers. Let's see what we have here. We have the Sega Game Gear cleaning gear in the box. Uh, still, it's, it's taped shut, so it's still unused. Cleans both Game Gear system and Game Gear cartridge contacts. Effective and easy to use, no solution needed. Includes two extra sets of replacement cleaning pads for both the hardware and software. I think I have a couple of these loose. But that one is sealed. Another mystery envelope. Oh, I remember these. Or this. I was right. These. These are... I have, ne I have never seen these before. They are... Looks like 35 millimeter slides, and they say interplay on each. And one is for Casino Fun Pack. I'll put that up on the screen so you can see it. I'll try to take a picture of it, but it's color, it's a color like color negative. Uh, this is for Casino Fun Pack, but it is the, like, screen that says Tournament. And again, Casino Fun Pack, sh highlighting one of the games. I think it's Roulette, but I'm not sure. I'm not a gambler. But they're, like, slides, individual slides of the games or for Casino Fun Pack. I don't know how these would have been used. I don't know if these are put into like a slide projector and at like a, a convention or a showcase and the individual slides are put in to say, hey, we have this new game coming up called Casino Fun Pack. Here's what the box looks like. Here's what the, you know, the, what some of the selection screens look like. Here's what one of the games look like. But I have never seen these since I bought these. So I'm not saying that they're super rare and expensive. They might just be a very obscure. If any of you out there have something like that, these individual slides, please comment below or contact me on Instagram because I would love to know if other people have stumbled across those and which games were in their slides. More tissue paper. We have the power back, rechargeable battery pack, and AC adapter. In two different languages, English and something else. And 
It might be French, maybe Canadian. I am not sure. Charge it up, snap it on, and you're powered for hours. Or just keep your game gear plugged into the wall and you don't have to worry about it dying on you. That's pretty, pretty hefty. It's got some weight to it. Oh, I remember these I'm having flashbacks. These I found at a Toys R Us in California. I went to a random Toys R Us just to look around, and they had brand new on the shelf, but way marked down, brand new power backs, the recharger battery pack. Uh, marked down to $14.97. The classic orange sticker, Toys R Us markdown sticker. So I bought the two that they had. I believe there was only two. Oh, I take that back. I bought the three that they had. So they had three on the shelf. And I remember at the time I was working at a job that didn't pay a lot of money. So spending $45 on three battery packs that I knew I wasn't going to use that are just going into my collection. I was kind of on the fence. So these kind of rode around in my Toys R Us cart for about a half hour while I looked around. And then I finally just said, screw it. I'm never going to see these again. Uh... The system is gone, the system, the system is dead, and these are just leftovers, so I bought them. Oh, here is a bootleg of the magnifier. It's called the Wide Master. Game Gear is trademarks of Sega Enterprises Limited. But this is... A bootleg screen magnifier magnifies two and a half times but it's called the wide master hey what's that on your game gear oh this this is the wide master I see more tissue paper I must have run out of bubble wrap there's one. Is this different? Yes, this is different. Okay. So first we have the car adapter. Let's take a Game Gear car adapter. Game Gear for the road. Plug Game Gear into any car cigarette lighter. Gives you endless hours of play without batteries. Cord reaches comfortably to the back seat. For use exclusively with the Game Gear from Sega. And then the other thing that I thought was two of that is the gear to gear cable. And I know that I've shown on this channel game, certain games that uh, are compatible with the gear to gear cable. I think Mortal Kombat is one of them. So if you have a system in Mortal Kombat, your friend has a system in Mortal Kombat and you use the gear to gear cable Allegedly, you can play against each other in real time using this cable. Again, I've never tested it out. I can't say for certain that it works, but that is what it is branded as, being able to do. We have the Master Gear Converter for Game Gear. Play Sega Master System games on your Game Gear. Um, I'm looking for... It's made in Hong Kong, 1991. I don't see a brand. But that's the Master Gear. Brand new in the box. So you get all your Master System games together. You attach this, plug this into your Game Gear, snap in your Master System games. And you are playing Master System on the Game Gear. And I know I've discussed the Master Gear uh, before, just saying how it would 
multiply your game library by a lot if you could play Master System games on your Game Gear. Little piece of whatever. And we have another Sega Game Gear value pack. And this one has an adapter. I'm just going to set this there for a second. If it'll balance. So it is has the insert for the system to go here. And then over here, I've seen games included. And I know on this channel, I've showed games that have the sticker that says value pack. It's either spelled like that or just V-A-L-U. Or no, value. And then it's either P-A-K or P-A-C-K. And so we have that. And then we have the system. And we know that the system goes with it because on the bottom it says Game Gear Value Pack. And it's spelled P-A-C-K. Although the white box that it comes in is spelled P-A-K. So we know this system came with the value pack. And then the last thing that was included with the value pack, or at least that was in there with it, is a standard AC adapter, Sega brand. I'd actually have to do some research to see how the value packs came. If they came with a game, the system, they all came with a system and either three, was it either like three games or two games and a power adapter? I don't know off the top of my head exactly how they were packaged or marketed but i know there were games involved because of those stickers that i found on games which i showed you and that is this container that is container 24. so uh the two the carry-all bag and the sport say a sport system took up a lot of space in here so made for a quick video i uh, hope you're all doing well um yeah thanks for watching Connect with me on Instagram, comment if you'd like, like the video if you continue to like watching these videos, and I'll see you back in one week for episode 63, container 25, part one. Until then, be well. Don't, don't be upset or angry or discouraged because your collection doesn't look like somebody else's. Mm -hmm.